recent years, a global race has begun to exploit the enormous potential of quantum technologies. As part of the European Union Quantum Technology Flagship, the Maximal project is built around the use of atomic vapor cell to develop a new generation of highly precise sensors called quantum sensors. These sensors are to benefit the whole society in many different applications. The project, coordinated by CSCM in Switzerland, brings together 14 partners from seven European countries. Its main objective is to make the European quantum industry stronger by bringing the academia and research and technology organization to work hand in hand for, and even more important, with the industry. The Maximal project is built all around one single basic building block, the atomic vapor cell. In other words, the container in which our sensing atoms are confined. The quantum sensors developed within the Maximal project require a high number of rubidium atoms held under vacuum in the cells in order to avoid chemical reactions of the rubidium atoms with the oxygen or water in the atmosphere. CSM has established and optimized a patented fabrication process to produce atomic vapor cells in a reliable and industrial way based on micro-mechanical systems technique. This technique is identical in terms of equipment used and fabrication processes to the technique used in foundries all over the world to produce integrated electronic circuits. Hence, we can produce a large number of vapor cells at once on a single 150 mm diameter wafer. Quality, reproducibility and tracking are key aspects in the fabrication of MEMS atomic vapor cells for industrial and research applications. At CSCM, we develop an automated cell activation and characterization piece of equipment. This laser-based system can be programmed to UV activate and characterize hundreds of cells on a single wafer in a fully automated way. Whether it is an atomic clock, a magnetometer, or a gyroscope, a common vision of Maximal is to make high-performance atomic sensors mass-producible, so we can make thousands to millions of units in an efficient way. Magnetic fields carry important information in biomedicine, in geophysics, and in space science, and magnetometers are developed to make that information available to us. Optically pumped magnetometers are high sensitivity quantum sensors that take advantage of the unique alkali vapor properties and their interaction with external magnetic and laser fields to detect magnetic fields with unpresentable sensitivity. OPMs are also a useful proving ground to test quantum enhancement techniques that may someday be applied to atomic clocks, gyroscopes and co-magnetometers. In medicine, for example, electric currents in the human brain the heartbeat of a fetus or even MRI could be detected using tiny atomic cells. The Atomic Quantum Optics Group at ICFO is one of the main partners of the Maximal Collaboration on designing and developing compact quantum sensors that will be applied in magnetoencephalography or simply MEG. So magnetoencephalography or MEG for short is an imaging technique for investigating human brain function by measuring the weak magnetic fields generated by electric currents in neurons. MEG allows the measurement of ongoing brain activity millisecond by millisecond with the ability to localize active regions with good spatial resolution. These OPM sensors have strengths and weaknesses when compared to superconducting sensors. They are compact and don't require cryogenics, but they are expensive, the outer surface of the sensor can be quite hot, the amplitude response is non-linear and there can be significant crosstalk when sensors are placed in dense arrays. We are focusing on these weaknesses in the Maximal project. CSCM is a Swiss research and technology organization that has been working in the miniaturization of atomic clocks for more than a decade. Besides the development of MEMS atomic vapor cells, CSEM recently patented a low-cost, ultra-fat miniature atomic clock physics package that combines the advantages of reduced size, weight and power with superior timing accuracy over high-end quartz-based technology. In Maximal, we join forces to cover and master 
the whole atomic development chain, from physics understanding and requirement assessment, through design, prototyping, manufacturing and even testing, up to product qualification and commercialization. World-leading partners like Aurolia Switzerland, CSCM and VTT are teaming up with their own respective system-level expertise to achieve this common goal, while the University of Neuchâtel brings expertise for even better performing future clocks. Our objective within the Maximal project is to further reduce the size and power consumption of a new prototype miniature atomic clock. Through our project partners, CSCM and VTT, we get access to state-of-the-art microfabrication technology, including clean room facilities and expertise in MEMS manufacturing, assembly and packaging. One of the VTT's main goals in Maximal is to manufacture a ceramic sensor package with small footprint. Our in-house low temperature cover ceramic technology is utilized for that purpose. At system level, we then integrate the microfabricated systems with the Rolli electronics and software. So this strong collaboration between research and industry provides an excellent platform to push a new prototype close to market maturity. Future mobility solutions like automated driving require high performance inertia sensors such as accelerometers and gyroscopes. Quantum gyroscopes have the potential to reach unprecedented accuracy and stability required for this application. Atomic gyroscopes are highly sensitive quantum devices that uses the nuclear spins in an atomic gas for rotation measurement. Our motivation is that atomic gyroscope will become a success story for automated driving similar to MEMS sensors. Our task at Bosch is to design and build up a proof of principle demonstrator. We integrate the optical, magnetic and electrical components on one platform and we develop the electronics and software of the system. At the University of Basel in Switzerland, we use atoms to image microwave fields. Microwaves are a very important part of modern technology. For example, every cell phone and every wireless device communicates with microwaves. Microwaves are also used for navigation, for radar, and even in medical applications. And we are developing the tools to make these microwaves visible. The atoms are inside um, this miniaturized glass cell, which has a very thin wall so that we can bring them very close to a device we want to study, such as this little circuit here. The atoms can then respond to the microwave field and we can image this response with a laser onto a camera. An important feature is that we can tune the atoms with a magnetic field so that they are sensitive only to a specific microwave frequency. And from the response of the atoms, more precisely from their quantum state, we obtain an image of the microwave field distribution. Alternatively, we can also image the frequency spectrum of the microwave to realize an atomic spectrum analyzer. In our laboratory at the University of Basel, we have built a first demonstrator of this new technique and we are exploring the quantum mechanical tricks to further enhance its performance. We are collaborating with the company Rode & Schwarz to further develop it and eventually turn it into a compact device that is ready for applications. At Durham, we've developed a method to image terahertz field that uses atomic vapor cells. Terahertz waves are interesting to work with because they're able to penetrate many materials, much in the way that X-rays do. However, unlike X-rays, they are low energy radiation and therefore safe to use. In the Maximal project, we have been working to characterize and optimize this novel imaging technique, and we have achieved diffraction-limited spatial resolution below one millimeter, and imaging frame rates up to 20,000 frames per second. This is far faster than any other terahertz imaging technique can achieve. We're now working with industrial partners to pursue applications in a field such as process monitoring, food safety, security screening, and renewable energy technologies. In Stuttgart, we apply the high-resolution spectroscopy methods of Maximal to detect tiny amounts of nitric oxide molecules that are held in a vapor cell that contains a background gas. With the usage of several laser excitations, we can specifically excite only nitric oxide in these vapor cells to a highly excited quantum state, which we call a Rydberg state. 
These Ritwerk states are very fragile and any collision within this uh, vapor cell rip them apart into charged particles. The charged fragments of the highly excited molecules produce a tiny but measurable current and this is the new way to detect specific molecules. Nitric oxide is an important tracer gas for inflammatory diseases like asthma. If the nitric oxide concentration in exhaled breath is too high, one might be affected. For humans, we have devices to test for this. But medical research relies on mice, and mice breath much less than we humans. Here current technology come to an end and we have a device which efficiently and fast can measure the nitric oxide concentration of exhaled mice breath. The goal of this project is to do gas analysis on the exhaled breath of mice, which of course have a very small volume, but on the other hand mice also breath very fast. So this means we have to have a detector which is fast enough to really have an in-time monitoring of the exhaled breath of a mouse. Our method to detect a handful of molecules hidden in a gas of billions of other particles is a quite novel idea and we are on the way to build a demonstrator that this method can outplay commercially available nitric oxide detectors. The researchers in Maximal are facing tough scientific and technical challenges. But also the coordination of such a big project with 14 partners from seven different countries working on five different application areas is challenging in itself. At Accelopment, we support the coordinator as well as the whole consortium in keeping the project on track, even in the unprecedented circumstances imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic. At Accelopment, we support Maximal partners with science communication, outreach and dissemination activities ensuring that project results reach the wider audiences.